Welcome. We are going to begin with topic one, which is called Oracle Architecture. But before you even start, you don't need to know anything as a prerequisite for this course. However, some understanding of SQL or SQL structured query language is an added advantage for you to understand some of the concepts in this course. If you have never worked with SQL, you can take a look at my course for Oracle SQL series using the link above here. So let's get started. When you talk about Oracle architecture, we mean the different components that make up Oracle. For you to be able to administer anything, you need to first understand it deeply and indeed, without understanding it, you will face a lot of difficulties in the future when you are managing it. So understanding the architecture of Oracle software is extremely important for you in your journey as a DBA. So this topic is all about helping you understand what is going on underneath the hood when you are using Oracle. First things first, Oracle database software is divided into two parts. We have the instance in one hand and then we have the database. When you install Oracle software on your machine, on your laptop or in a server, Oracle software is divided into two parts. We have the instance and then we have the database. Note them down. The instance and then the database. When we talk about the instance, we mean the memory and the background processes that keep on running to ensure that the Oracle database software is really up and running to ensure that the database is available. We are going to be looking at these things in detail. We are going to see these memory structures and then the background processes that keep on running. Then on the other hand, we have the database which is made up of files. So on one hand, we have the instance and then we also have the database but they are all part of the oracle software whenever you install oracle database software you are you are putting two things on your machine you're putting the instance and the database the instance is made up of memory and background processes yet the database is made up of files so after understanding that oracle database software is made up of database and the instance then how do users connect to the database because at the end of the day we are having users at one end who are connecting to the database. This is how it happens. Remember we say that any application you use these days, almost all applications we use, they have a database they use to store the information and organize it. The moment you begin using, signing up an account with it or, or making some posts or updating some stuff on that application, you are using the database to store that information. And whenever you need that information, it is retrieved from the database back to the user. Let us assume you have an application you want to use and you open it. The moment you open it, it has to connect to the database on the other hand. So when you launch an application on your phone, it has to connect to the database to get the information from there. But there is a process that keeps on going whenever you are connecting to this database. So what happens? So let us assume that the application you want to use uses Oracle as its database platform. So what happens is, the moment you launch the application from your device, a user process is started. The work of the user process is to initiate connection to the database. However, due to the security concerns of Oracle, it doesn't take you direct to the database. Remember, the instance and the database, they are two different things. We want to get connected to the database to get information because that is where our information is stored. But Oracle doesn't take you direct to the database. It takes you fast through the instance. So the moment you initiate the application on your device, the connection, the user process is started that initiates connection to the instance. So the user is connected to the instance. When that happens, then our focus is drawn to the instance. In the instance, the server process and the user session is started. The user sessions show that so and so has connected, maybe Bob has connected to the instance with the user ID and then the password. So the moment the session starts, a server process is started in the instance. We are setting the instance, we haven't gone to the database. So the server process is started and the work of the server process is it will act at the middleman between the user and the database. The user does not interact with the database directly. The user does not interact with the database directly. However, it is the server process that keeps on moving data from the database back to the user and from the user to the database. It is the server process that performs the task. So the, user, the server process 
So the work of the server process is to interact with the database on behalf of the user. When the server process is started, memory is allocated, and this memory is called the program global area. Mm, another concept. We are going to look at this in details, but we need to first understand how users get connected. The work of the PGA is to ensure that it works hand in hand with the server process to ensure that the client's requests are really satisfied. You get your information from the database and you send the information to the database. That is the work of the PGA to ensure that you do all that task. It has other functions as we shall be looking at them, but for now, it just works with the server process to interact with the database on behalf of the user. After this is done, in addition to other things, of course, there are a lot of other things that happens, but right now we are much interested in how the users get connected. When that happens, the user can now access the database, can pick any information from the database, can send any information to the database, can update, you can delete anything from the database. Illustrations are much better in explaining these concepts. Our major focus is we need data. That is what we need. We need our information. Here is Joy or Maria or, or Winfrey or Oswald. <laughs> Sorry, Oswald. <laughs> so they need information. Which information was sent? Maybe on maybe TikTok or WhatsApp or Twitter, any application. They are interested in data, getting the information from the database. But this information is stored on a server. So on the right, we are having the user. On the left, we are having the server or the computer okay, where Oracle software is installed. So the server on the left is divided into two. Remember, it has Oracle software. It's having the instance and then is also having the database. The data we want is stored in the database. It is not stored in the instance. So remember we said in the instance we are having the memory and background processes. Then in the database that is where we keep the database files, the information we need and so much more. We are going to be looking at that in details. This user needs to access the data here. So the moment the user opens the application a user process is started right on the device of the user. The work of the user process is to initiate connection to the instance. That is the work of the user process, to initiate and maintain connection to the instance. Once the user process is started, a connection is made. Once the connection is successful, then we have the server process that happens in the instance. And the work of the server process to interact with the database on behalf of the user. In other words, the server process in the instance will fetch data from the database to the user and from the user to the database. But the server process cannot work alone, so the PGA works hand in hand with the server process to ensure that user's requests are satisfied. Once that happens, once everything is done, the server process is okay, the PGA is okay, then data can be moved from the database to the user. That is how the user get connected, how they pick information from the database, how they send information from the database. In the next section, we are going to look at the instance and the database.